Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jessica. This is Tucker. He smells what I have down here and he's very, very interested. He actually crawled out from underneath of the bed smelling it like what is this stuff? So that's interesting to me because I didn't know that it had a smell. But anyways, but if you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be doing some scientific research today. I'm really, really excited about this. I think it's going to be a ton of fun and possibly even terrifying. All right, so I picked up this agar kit on Amazon, and I will link the one that I got down below. If you want to do this experiment in your own home, definitely let me know if you do it and what your results are. But we're going to find out what my results are. And so the kit basically just comes with these Petri dishes here that apparently, ooh, they do have a scent. They do have a scent. It must be the, the agar stuff in here. But anyways, <laughs> it comes with these Petri dishes. It comes with, I can't remember how many, but these are the two packages. So it comes with all of those as well as these cotton swabs and the saline solution that you use to wet the cotton swab tip. And then it comes with the instructions here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to be swabbing an area in my home. I haven't decided which area I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to make sure I pick a really disgusting one. And I am going to let that bacteria grow for a couple of days. And then I'm going to be testing out some popular household cleaning products to see which one kills germs the best. So I'm going to be using things like Thieves and Clorox bleach. And I think I might have some Lysol in there. I'm going to be using that possibly some Mrs. Myers, whatever I can find, but I'm going to do as many as I can find that I already own and test them to see which one is going to do the best job. And like I said earlier, I'm slightly terrified to see, but I'm also very intrigued. I hope you guys are too. So if you want to see the results of this test, then definitely stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna be using my dog's bowl because I figured that's pretty disgusting and it's easy for me to kind of swab. So I'm gonna be doing six tests and then I have one for control. So I'm not gonna put any cleaning product in this one to test. I'm just gonna see that the bacteria is growing. So these will be the six that we're testing products. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the solution onto the Q-tip and swab the dog bowl and then put it into the Petri dishes.
Hey guys, I'm back with an update here to show you the bacteria that's growing. We're on day six and I've got some pretty funky stuff growing in here. I'm going to open up one of these and show you in a second. They smell really, really bad. It's so gross, but I'm excited that there is stuff growing and I'm going to um, go ahead and test the cleaning products on them tomorrow. I just wanted to give them one more day just because I'm kind of busy today anyways, but I'm gonna open up one of these stinky things and show you what the bacteria looks like. It's so nasty and kind of scary. So there's one. I'm gonna show you this one has a really big spot. Ugh, so gross. I think that kind of looks like mold. Um, there's some condensation in here because I had them setting on the heater because it says they grow best in warm areas and so that cause some condensation in there. That one doesn't have a, well, I say it doesn't have a whole lot, but oh, it smells so terrible. You can kind of see on the back side. You can kind of see on the back side. And that's on the inside of that one. The crazy thing to me is they're all sort of growing different types of bacteria. And I wish I was a scientist and I knew what all of these different things were because there's definitely some different looking, like there's these little yellow spots. And then there's the black spots. There's this like gray. There's this one right here, which is really crazy. It probably won't show you. I feel like it won't focus, but this one right here, I'll try to get a picture and I'll insert it right now of this spot right here. But yeah, that's six days. And tomorrow we're going to go ahead and start doing the fun part, which is testing the cleaners. All right, guys, so it has been seven days now, and I've got some really crazy, funky bacteria growing in here. It smells terrible, but I have seven Petri dishes. I'm going to do six different cleaners and leave one just to just leave it, I guess. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to leave one just to see what happens if I don't touch it. But um, I'm going to show you the cleaners that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray them in here and give it a few days and see what happens. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this one is really funky. Like, that is a huge spot. I don't even want to open it. It's going to smell so terrible. All right, so we have Lysol disinfectant. We've got some Clorox bleach. We have some good old thieves, which I'm really curious to see how that's going to go. I have some 409, it claims to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Some Mrs. Myers, which in all fairness, it does not claim to kill bacteria, but we're going to see what happens. And then the method, and the same thing, it does not claim to kill bacteria, but we're just going to see what happens. So that's all of the cleaners. And we're going to go ahead and get started.
Okay, so I have everything labeled. I've sprayed cleaner in there and I'm gonna give it, I guess 24 hours. So we'll check this time back tomorrow and see what what's dying or what's still there, what's multiplying. We're gonna just see what happens. This is pretty terrifying. Okay guys, so we have finally come to the end of this experiment. Um, I'm really excited to share with you what I feel like are the results. Um, but what I do want to mention this. Once I got done with this experiment, I realized that I really wish I would have done this another way. That way being, I wish I would have swapped everything, left a control dish just to see the bacteria grow without being sprayed with a cleaner, and then I wish I would have sprayed the others immediately with cleaner just to see what grew after being cleaned versus, you know, what didn't grow or whatever, or how much grew after being sprayed. So if you guys like this, you thought it was interesting and fun and you want me to do that, I will totally do that again. I might just include it in one of my, uh, my other cleaning videos or I might make a video on its own, I don't know. But just depending, we'll see how this one goes. But if you do want me to do that, give this video a thumbs up and comment and let me know. And I definitely will because I know I'm curious on my own as to what the results would have been. Um, but I do think that I got an, an answer as far as what cleaning products did the best doing it this way. And I'm going off of the way that these smell when I open them because yesterday when I opened them, they were horrendous. It made me want to vomit. <laughs> and... Um, also, the way that the bacteria actually looks inside of the Petri dishes. So I'm going to show you guys that now, and I'm going to explain to you, like, how it smells or doesn't smell and, like, my thoughts and everything, but while we're looking at the Petri dishes. So let's go ahead and give them a look. Okay. Right off, I can, just from moving this from the bin over here, I can smell this. This was the one that I sprayed with the Method Cleaner. I'm going to try to give you as close up as this camera will let me. This smells awful. You can definitely still tell that the bacteria in there is alive. Um, it's just very much alive. I don't know how to explain that to you, but you can just tell it's not like dried out. It's still wet looking and just alive. It looks alive and it smells alive. It might have killed whatever this is. I wish I knew what different types of bacteria these were. If anyone is watching this and you do happen to know, and you want to let us know, that would be awesome. I tried to look up on Google. I got some answers, but nothing that was real clear. But I feel like it might have killed a few of these different, like maybe that kind of looks dead. That maybe looks, but everything else is definitely very much alive and smelly. So that's the method. But in its defense, it does not claim to kill germs. So I do want to state that. Okay, up next we have 409. And it looks pretty much dead and it does not smell bad. Let me smell, hold on. Yeah, that does not smell bad at all. Um, it just smells like the cleaner. Everything in there looks dead to me. I'm not a scientist, but to me that looks pretty dead. And we can try and compare it to what it looked like before, but yeah, I would say that that pretty much did a good job. So good job, 409. All right, this is the control one. Not much has changed in here. And it's surprisingly, the control one didn't really grow as much, or at least not the same kind of bacteria. But you can tell this is very much alive. It's still, you can just tell it's alive. Um, this one is the one that there was no cleaners on. So that's what it would look like if we hadn't done anything at all. Okay. Here's the Lysol. This one smells good. It smells really good, in fact. It smells nice and fresh and clean. I can definitely tell everything in here is dead. Um, this just has a different appearance. It's dry. This little yellow thing that I was showing you yesterday, it looks different. It's dry. It's really cool looking, actually. I would love to look at that under a microscope. And this mold here is dead. It's not growing anymore. You can just tell it's just, it's no good, no good anymore. So I think the Lysol did a really good job. So that was that. Now we're going to just see the Mrs. Myers. 
actually, let me see, how does this smell? Okay, the Mrs. Myers actually smells good. It smells like the geranium scent that I used. Let's see if I can get this to focus, there we go. Um, I wish I could show you up close. I can't get this camera to focus up really, really close. Okay, this is about as close as I can get for it to still remain focused. I'll try to take you over here in the light so you can really see. This one I think was mold. I'm not really sure, but to me, it looks dead as a doornail. It definitely does not look like it's still growing. These little spots here are definitely dead. Um, and there's no new growth in there. I'd say the Mrs. Mayers did pretty good. Now, in its defense too, I think that was mold. But I don't know, maybe mold is kind of hard to kill. Like I said, I'm not an expert. So, okay, this is the Clorox. This one smells stinky like bleach, because in my opinion, bleach smells really bad. But, okay. So I'm actually kind of shocked by the results of this one. I can get this to focus better. Whew, it smells very strong. Um, I feel like it killed these two things, but I feel like these are still alive. And I could be wrong, because like I said, I'm not an expert, but to me, they still look wet and alive. Like they're still growing. They don't look like they've changed in appearance from what they looked like yesterday. I don't know. What do you guys think? Just looking at that. So that's interesting for sure. And I saved the best for last, or at least the one that I was the most curious about, and that was Thieves, because it's all of the rage these days. Everybody swears by it. So I will say that this one smells really good. It smells nice and fresh and clean. And I would say it definitely killed those, which I think is mold. That looks dead to me. Um... That looks like it might still be alive, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's not. These look dead. They look dried up and just not like they're going anymore. This one possibly could still be alive. I can't tell. Like, I just don't know. I wish I do. I wish I did know. That one, I'm not sure about. That's definitely gone, that's definitely gone. And again, that one I'm not sure about. So those two right there, they're larger, so maybe that's why I'm not sure. But there's definitely not any new growth in here, and what was in here does not look too alive to me. I mean, I just really don't know about these two. I have to look and compare to what they looked like before I sprayed them, maybe that will help. Oh my gosh, these stink so bad. Okay, here is an update. This is, let's see, I filmed that clip on, I think, Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Four days after I did the initial, um, like, reveal of what worked and what didn't. And I do have an update quick, and I mainly want to update on this Thieves. It smells so terrible. But I want you to see... It has multiplied by so much. So I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but yikes, that's a little bit scary because you can look back, I'll try to do a side by side clip. None of this was there. That was just two small spots. Whatever that was, mold or whatever, it's dead. But everything else is multiplied. It smells absolutely horrible. Um, and I'll just show you in comparison because we looked at the Clorox the same day. Well, not everything. This is the Clorox. Nothing else has grown in there. It's completely dead. Nothing else has grown. 
And this one was safe. Yeah, and then the Mrs. Myers actually nothing else grew in there. And that mold is dead. And nothing else grew in there. And then let's see, we have the Lysol. It's also still dead and nothing new has grown in there. The method is like so scary to me because it is, it multiplied. When I sprayed it, it, I mean, it's the worst of all of them. Look at that. It's the absolute worst of all of them. So the method is definitely never, never going to be, I'm never going to be purchasing method again. And then this is the control. It's got a little bit more bacteria in there. And then let's see what we have. The 409 is also dead. So I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm, you can like what you want. Um, everybody has their own opinions. Maybe, maybe I did this wrong. I definitely want to do another test where I swab the bacteria and then just go ahead right away and spray the cleaner. And I'll definitely do thieves. I'll test thieves and I'll test the Clorox just because I feel like those are two like popular. Clorox is really popular. Thieves is really popular. I'll go ahead and do that and I will update in a future video, but I just wanted to come back on here. I was done. I was done editing and everything, but I wanted to come on here and just show you the update after it had been a few more days because some things did happen. Okay guys, so that was the results. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I definitely am not an expert, so I might sound kind of you know, uneducated when it comes to this, and that would be because I am. I'm just like you, and I was just doing a fun experiment at home just to see. I really wish that I knew what types of bacteria these were growing in here, and I really wish that I knew like how to tell if they were dead or alive. Some of them are clearly obvious that they are no longer growing, and some of them I'm not really sure, but once I put this footage into the computer and I kind of look back at them and see them side by side versus before I sprayed versus after I sprayed, maybe I will be able to determine more then. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was a lot of fun. It's definitely kind of a scary thought to think about all of that stuff growing in your house. I mean, I know that was my dog bowls, but that kind of bacteria is growing on almost all the surfaces in your home. That's why it's important that we are cleaning regularly. But yeah, if you're new here, definitely hit that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss out when I upload in the future. Um, I normally do cleaning videos, but I throw in some fun little things like this here and there. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.